Our tradition was um, Christmas Eve, we'd have lobsters for dinner. Um, so we had a full house. And then after dinner, um, I did the traditional reading of the night before Christmas. <laughs> I was awakened by the fire alarm, which went off at uh, 4.30. And uh, of course, I was sound asleep at the time. There was smoke in the kitchen. Um, and I, you know, I walked in there. Uh, the dining room, which is to the left of the kitchen, uh, was just consumed with smoke. And I could see fire also. Um, I tried to put it out. I tried to find something to put it out. I had no idea, you know, what the what the intensity was at the time. I couldn't find anything, and then uh, went went back into the main and the rest of the house and started yelling, "Fire! Fire!" I tried to get up the stairs uh, and got up to the, to the boys' bedroom and got maybe half, just crawling up the stairs, maybe halfway, and it was. The, uh, the, the heat, I mean, the smoke was just so hot. It was just, I mean, burning. It's just no way I could get up. Uh, the fire, fireman said the boys really didn't have a chance. You just, I mean, if we could have gotten them out, I guess in the first three minutes or something, we might have been able to, but. We couldn't. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we couldn't. Last summer, they, they were with me in Maine, just the two boys and myself, for about four days. And, and that was great. And we did things, you know, went hiking together and biking together and so forth. And I certainly think about those times. Um, other times, I, you know, the, the horror of the whole night plays back, you know. Um, so, you know, Christmas is going to be hard, really, <laughs> really, really hard this year. If we had had a sprinkler system, the boys would not have died. Uh, that's, we've, we've been told that, that that's pretty clear. Um, so, you know, if we'd had a sprinkler, it could have been a different outcome.